want to give y'all a couple of the, uh, give y'all this and let you look at this. This is some questions that were raised. Um, I'd like to give these to you, but I'd also like to give them back from a security standpoint. It has information in here related to the layout of the buildings, and I'd like to discuss that information. discussion of that? Yes, ma'am. And whether or not that goes through, uh, I'm not sure. There, uh, There's one segment that is looking to downsize that. There's another section asking to increase it. So uh, I'm not sure who's going to win that battle. Well, my last conversation with some of the others that's involved in this, with the statistics that is showing, it's not a beneficial thing for the non-money that I'm showing. Somebody can't tell me. I want her to tell me about that. Uh, being familiar with what we paid previously when those cases were assigned by the judges and the response uh, of those attorneys to those clients, uh, I think you're probably, probably right. The next page is a breakdown of information on the uh, Lowndes County Administration Building. Uh, you know that it's three floors. The first floor uh, houses the human resources, utilities, IT, and the payment window for finance. Uh, there are no vacancies in the uh, HR utility uh, department has two vacant workstations. If you uh, open up the fold out, the very first fold out, which is uh, two pages behind the page that I'm referring to, you'll see that indicated by the uh, colored area. And that is, that's not offices, that is, as I said, workstation. There are no uh, vacancies in the IT office as well. Um, the second floor 
uh, has engineering, planning, and zoning, uh, as well as uh, is currently housing uh, EMA, um, as well as your chambers and multi-purpose room. Uh, there are three uh, vacant offices on the planning and zoning side, two on the uh, engineering side. One of those offices now houses the AutoCAD. The second fold out uh, is a, a full plan for that as well as those offices marked on the um, The third floor uh, offices are located, uh, they're located in the county manager, the county commissioner's finance. Uh, there are currently six vacant offices on, on the county manager, county commissioner hallway and finance has two basic offices. That Diagram is your third fold out. So, um, uh, I missed it uh, on the second floor. Uh -huh. uh, those are future provisions, or you... those are all, as you'll note in the summary there, the, the plan was for a 50 year growth. Mm -hmm. When the building initially began to be designed, it was, to, it was anticipated to include parks and rec as well as the fire park. Um, as that plan continued to be developed, the decision to make parks and rec an authority took place. And also we expanded the building that was being constructed at fire to include the administration. And that same space was still maintained because the commission asked the architect at that time that they wanted this to maximize um, a 50 year anticipation uh, usage. Uh, so that's why the, those offices were designed. That was mainly the, the project manager, but I seen like five of them. Yeah, that's yeah, just so. a term that was put there okay. for those. Uh, would, it, would it also be fair to say that, that due to recent budget restraints that we've also got several positions that have not been filled which would yes, definitely lost uh, uh, that would take some space as well. Uh, that and we have two offices there one of those were anticipated to be on that same side which is uh, would be in the where next to the uh, Some of these, um, forget that, I won't go there. Um, go ahead, <laughs> if you look at your remaining fold out, that is a uh, layout of the uh, historical courthouse, beginning with the basement, a good bit of that area. Uh, there, are, there are actually uh, three offices primarily uh, storage, elevator, mechanical room, uh, restrooms, uh, the uh, room that now houses all of the homes. Uh, as y'all recall, we had to move some of that out of the uh, annex when we pull that down. The next page is the, uh, the first floor where the magistrate, the state court, and uh, probate court were housed. You notice, notice the offices there that are marked for each of those. And then your third floor consisted of the, uh, if you count the basement, this would be the third floor would be the uh, courtroom. And this is the one that the committee, the, uh, Judges have asked to be maintained as is for potential court use. And then the last one is uh, office space that is on the last remaining floor. Um, so when you look at that, the question is if, you're, if you were to utilize, uh, look at the needs of the public defender's office. Um, 
placing them in the courtroom or, or the historical courthouse, the question is, would you maintain that um, from a historical standpoint, that facility is on the historical register and you would need to maintain uh, the criteria established by the historical society. And this is not local, this is the, the federal register. Um, so that question would have to be raised uh, and then um, we have looked at space for the public defender in trying to locate him in the uh, current federal building. I believe one of those floors is available. He looked at that and for whatever reason did not like that. We'd still have to rent though, wouldn't we? We went to the federal building still paying out rent. You would, you would pay rent, it would be, uh, as I understand, Less than what we currently pay, but just from a from a cursory look here, you've got a significant amount of space in the old courthouse that would potentially be office space for the public defender. I'm not saying he has to go in there, but just you know, if he did, and still be able to maintain that courtroom. You we would need several to do, floors there. We would need to do something <coughs> with the uh, records that. The clerk has in there now, there are approximately 12 offices that are uh, being used to store uh, documents from the clerk. So we would need to do some of that. But those are uh, just facts here that we will, you tell us what you want us to do, we will try to have that beginning of the first year as far as uh, analysis made on any of these bills. I've got a logistical question that I can ask. We're talking about renovation of the building. We're talking about using it for office space. It, um, it wouldn't be feasible to put somebody in there until the renovations are done. Right. Right. Is this isn't something you could do, have one floor being renovated, another floor being used by well, somebody. I think this is a long-term thing. It would be difficult. Thing. difficult to do that. Right. Okay. And, but you know when we... We're spending six, four thousand dollars a year in rent. If this is something in the future that we could save the taxpayers' money and put this building to use, it's just sitting there. Well, I, I, think, uh, I think it would be a, a, a good possibility all the way around for us. I think the first thing that we need to do, is, of course, is, elect, is to allow Judge McLean and his committee to do their work with what they were tasked to do. Uh, they now can move forward with doing their studies and looking at those sort of things uh, based on the fact that now the revenue will be available. So I think we need to hear from them before we, we begin to kind of make decisions about, you know, what right. we would do with it. I know um, he's very favorable of putting the public defender in there. But we'll just we'll take a look at it. But there again, he's got to get through the process. There's a lot of things to be considered as far as how that facility can be used. I mean, you have parking issues downtown. You've got... Um, uh, Again, you know, it's, it is your historical courthouse as well. So we'll need to take a lot of those things into consideration, listen to the to the uh, to Judge McLean's committee, get him to come up and make his presentation, and go from there. In, in addition to that, it sounds like we've got to have a long-term solution for what the clerk needs to do with those records, because that's that's the short-term deal being in there, right? I mean, we don't uh, we don't anticipate we, we don't anticipate those being there forever and ever and ever. Amen. At some point, we're going to have to get them out and get them into a climate controlled environment. And, and that is you're right. And and uh, we have also looked at some long term storage issues. I, that was a couple of years ago. Stephanie and I looked at uh, how we would do that and have that space available for record retention, not just for the clerk, but county record retention. Right. Uh, and, that, and that brings on the question of space, the cost associated with that staff that can retrieve those documents uh, and provide them to the various offices uh, in a short Jim, Assuming did, we go off site. Yes. Did, did uh, Judge McLean express any interest in, 
Clouds State University using it or, or leasing Judge it? Judge McLean and I met with uh, the president and, and the chairman participated in that meeting. There were discussions uh, that VSU indicated interest. Um, their biggest problem was financial uh, and getting approval for, for funding. <coughs> we discussed potential changes that would need to be made to the facility uh, in combining the historical aspect with the needs of the issue. Um, so there was discussion about classrooms, uh, which obviously the majority of that is just for offices. You could have a lecture, et cetera, take place in the courtroom, um, but that would have to be coordinated. It's obviously not used now. If in the event of a case, we would have to work around that. But uh, President uh, indicated an interest and a desire that was made known to Judge McLean because he was the tour guide uh, for all of that and uh, it has not uh, developed any further than that early discussion. Also, I would appreciate, uh, thank you all for checking on, you know, at one time I was, you know, you know bouncing around the idea of the issue as well as even the library possibly moving in there. But after looking at the plans and everything, and you know, it, it makes things a little clearer how, how complex it really could be. 